Hello, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Bio for You. Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to look specifically in Chapter 3, 3.4 Meiosis. Okay, let's have a look on it. So, in meiosis, by definition, it is a process by which a cell nucleus divides. So, similar like mitosis, but okay, the, to produce four daughter cells and each containing half number of chromosomes, of the parent cell okay it involves a reduction number of chromosomes from diploid to n to haploid half jadi separuh saja n like mitosis it involves dna replication during interphase it is also a continuous process by process yang berterusan is divided into prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so similar like mitosis but unlike mitosis it occurs in reproductive organs sahaja. Maknanya kalau dekat dalam meiosis ni hanya berlaku dekat dalam gonad cells kita sahaja. Iaitu gonad cells dekat mana? If in male dekat male reproductive part and in female in female reproductive part. So maksud dia meiosis ni takkan berlaku dekat um, kulit, uh, tangan, kuku, semua tu sudah berlaku. Hanya dekat reproductive organ uh, of male and female sahaja. Okey. And the formation of gametes, or kita panggil sebagai gametogenesis in animal, and the production of spores in plants. So this diagram nak menunjukkan secara ringkas lah apa itu uh, meiosis. Okay. So the phases, okay, still the same. Two continuous cell divisions in meiosis. So we're going to divide them into meiosis one and meiosis two. So in meiosis 1, uh, berlaku yang genetic recombination Kita akan tengok kejap lagi ni apa dia And separation of homologous chromosomes Manakah dia dekat meiosis tu berlaku separation of sister chromatids So I hope you guys already um, mastering these terms Sister chromatids, maksudnya a pair of like a, the butterfly tu kan Butterfly shape dia akan separate from homologous chromosomes to butterfly pairs Okay So in meiosis 1 so, berlaku proses uh, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. So, under uh, prophase 1, they are um, subdivided uh, divided into leptotin, zygotin, pectin, diplotin, diakinesis. But, um, in this video, I'm not going to go through into details of this. But, in your lectures, you have the details. That one, you can uh, read it on your own. Okay. And in meiosis 2, we have prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. So let have, let's have a look on each of these phases. So prophase one, what do we expect to see? What do we expect to know and learn from it? Okay, nucleus and nuclear envelope disappear, similar like prophase of mitosis. Okay, central migrate away from each other. Betul, dia akan berpisah uh, dan pergi ke each uh, opposite poles. And formation of spinal fibers sama chromatin start to condense. Yeah, now they become uh, the chromosome becomes visible under light microscope, and homologous chromosome undergoes synapsis. Okay, this is something new for and it's a huge difference, big difference between meiosis and mitosis. Okay, ada perkataan synapsis. Nanti saya akan tunjuk um, diagram dia. Okay. And forming tetrads. So, what is tetrads? Also, kita akan tengok nanti. And crossing over may occur between non-sister chromatids. Also, kita akan tengok kejap lagi. So, this is prophase 1. And this is the longest phase. And this phase can be divided into 5 stages. Macam saya dah sebutkan tadi. Leptotin, zygotin, pectin. Dan pectin yang berlaku yang crossing over. Again, uh, saya akan tunjukkan apa itu proses crossing over. Diprotein and also uh, dia. Kinesis. So, this diagram is showing uh, the stages of leptotin, zygotin, pectin, diprotin, diakinesis and after diakinesis, they can also occur metaphase 1. Okay, so but these details will be covered in your lecture notes. So, this diagram, this is not in your lecture notes. I have uh, I just added this uh, diagram into this slide. Okay, so let's go back to the basic. Okay, um, what is meant? When we say homologous chromosome, so homologous chromosome, okay, try to recall back. Macam saya dah bagi tahu, dekat dalam nucleus ni, chromosome kita occurs in pairs, berpasang-pasangan, diciptakan berpasang-pasangan. So, kita dalam manusia kita ada 46 chromosomes, 46 chromosomes, 
and you have 23 pairs so and each 23 pairs ni dia ada nombor dia sendiri lah pasangan nombor satu kita akan pasangkan dia dengan yang serupa dengan dia so kita panggil sebagai homologous chromosomes dan asalnya setiap kromosom homologous ni datang daripada parents kita semasa fertilization okay. Alright, so um, this is these two they are homologous chromosome. Kenapa saya kata homologous chromosome? Bentuk dia of course sama dari segi size dan content DNA sini dan sini adalah similar. Ha, saya tak kata exactly sama but similar. Maksudnya adalah contoh dalam kromosom ini dekat bahagian point yang saya tengah uh, specifically point with my laser cursor ni. Okay, so kat sini terdapat content untuk genetic to determine warna mata sama ada warna mata biru ke hijau ke coklat ke hitam ke sah terletak dekat sini so dekat bahagian yang sama juga of the the other uh, homologous chromosome juga will will carry the DNA that will encode and determine the gene for eye color warna mata juga itu maksud dia homologous chromosomes tapi ingat dua ni tak sama so asal ni ni that say daripada ayah uh, and descent from the uh, ibu. So kita akan panggil kalau ayah uh, paternal, kalau ibu maternal chromosome. Okey. So maknanya sebab tu dah warna mata kita tu di uh, decide sama ada ikut uh, warna ayah atau warna ibu sebab yang ini kita tengok which one yang being expressed mana yang ditunjukkan. Detail kita akan chapter uh, on the next uh, chapters lah. So maknanya nak cakap they are uh, homologous chromosomes. Dia sama je. Content of DNA dia sama. Tetapi detail ni dengan ni tak sama. Ini daripada ayah mungkin bawa mata warna coklat. Daripada ibu mungkin bawa mata warna hitam. Okay. So during uh, process 1 ni berlaku proses yang dia panggil sebagai crossing over. Ada dekat dalam lecture notes ni juga. Okay. So apa yang berlaku dekat dalam crossing over ni? The non-sister chromatin. So the blue the blue one and the red one they are non-sister. This one, red dengan red, this is sister to this. This is sister chromatid to this. But this blue and this red, they are non-sister. Dia bukan ada pada yang sama. Dia bukan daripada clone yang sama. Okay. So, um, during crossing over, um, the non-sister chromatid, dia berlaku exchange of DNA. Uh, dia berlaku crossing over. Okay. At the point that we call as chiasma. So, dekat point tempat dia bertilih, dia bersilang ni And exchange dia ni kita panggil sebagai kiasma So, sebelum tu kita ada satu lagi terms Nama dia uh, synapsis uh, Synapsis tu apa dia? Synapsis ni baru dah hanya proses Di mana dua homologous chromosome ni datang dekat-dekat rapat-rapat Tapi belum buat apa-apa lagi uh, So, itu adalah synapsis uh, And then kita ada satu lagi term Yang kita akan panggil sebagai tetrad Ataupun bivalent So, apa itu tetra atau bivalent? Dia adalah, ni, gabungan kedua-dua homologous kromosom ni. Tetra. Kenapa dia panggil tetra? Empat. Sebab, satu, dua, tiga, empat. Tetra. Okay. Kenapa bivalent? One valent, two valent. Bivalent. So, boleh gunakan mana-mana term sini lah. Sama ada tetra ataupun bivalent. Okay. So, um, uh, look at this label here. So, di label kat sini, um, ini kita panggil sebagai recombinant chromatids yang uh, this one specific part ni. Daripada straight atas sampai bawah ni, ini adalah recombinant chromatid. Apa itu recombinant chromatid? Recombinant ni maksudnya sudah ada berlaku uh, perubahan atau pertukaran uh, DNA dalam dia. So, nampak? Dia ada half, I mean uh, some part is from the blue part and some part from the red part. Okay. So, ini pun uh, recombinant juga. Manakala yang biru, yang sebelah sini dan merah sebelah adalah yang asal. Non-recombinant chromatids. Maksudnya tidak berlaku perubahan genetik pada dia. Okay, tak ada berlaku pertukaran genetik. Ada masih kekal seperti yang asal. So, itu adalah dalam prophase 1. Semua ni berlaku dalam prophase 1. Okay. So, now this is metaphase 1. So, ingat lepas prophase, metaphase and then anaphase, finally telophase. Okay. So, in metaphase 1, look, we are, we are using the term The tetrads. The tetrads are lined up along the equator sama macam metaphase attached by their centromeres. But kita gunakan tetrads lined up. Kita, kalau dekat dalam mitosis, kita gunakan sister chromatids lined up along the equator. So, apa itu tetrad? Ni dia. Macam saya sebutkan tadi tu. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, these all together 
uh, all uh, in, under my cursor, under the circle of my cursor. These are the tetras. Ataupun boleh gunakan nama term lain, bivalent. B-I-V-A-L-E-N-T. Okay, bivalent. So, they are lined up along the equator. And the spindle fiber ni attached to their central mills. And during anaphase, look, the term that we're going to use is homologous chromosomes separate. Kita tak cakap sister chromatid separate. So, apa maksud homologous chromosome? Ah, ni, yang dua. Sepasal ni ke homo ni, homo, uh, homo ni yang berpisah. <coughs> okay, one of each pair moves to the opposite pole. Nampak? Ni gerak ke sana, yang ini bergerak ke sini. This separate the chromosomes into two haploid cells. Main dekat mula fasa anaphase 1 ni lah yang dah mula menjadi haploid set. Okay, one set at each end of the spindle. <coughs> so, apa maksud haploid kat sini? Sebab kita akan ingat dalam meiosis, the pin number of chromosome of the daughter cell nanti akan menjadi separuh. Ha. Okay, dalam situasi sel yang kita tengah tengok dekat diagram ni, jumlah kromosom asalnya ada empat. Ada empat pasang kromosom. So, one, two, three, four. So, there are four chromosomes. Okay. So, ingat kan? Jumlah asal dia empat. So, but when this homologous chromosome separates, dua pergi sana, dua pergi sini, later this one will be divided, it will ends up, sini hanya ada dua kromosom, sana hanya ada dua kromosom. Nampak? Daripada empat kromosom asalnya, dah menjadi dua kromosom. Dah menjadi haploid. Half. Semasa anafis one lagi. Tapi dia dalam bentuk um, homologous chromosome lah. So, telophase 1, homologous chromosomes arrive at the opposite pole. Nampak? They can start to uh, uh, have a cleavage fruit and they can separate. Nampak? Dalam sel yang kata bentuk ni, number of chromosome ni hanya ada dua. Asalnya ada empat. Asalnya semua dalam satu sel sama ada empat. So, halving. Halving maksudnya menjadi separuh of chromosome number has occurred. But the chromosomes are still composed of two chromatids. Ha, maknanya, Masih dalam bentuk sister chromatid, sister chromatid lah sepasang begitu. Okay, spindle fibers will disappear, new nuclear membrane surrounds uh, each haploid cell and chromosomes uncoil, okay, lengthens and become un becomes fibrin, dibentukkan menjadi uh, chromatin balik. Uh, chromosome composed of two sister chromatid and cytokinesis occur. Sama macam dalam um, mitosis. So now, dalam meiosis 2, ah, Okay, so dalam meiosis tu, no further DNA replication occurs normally. Okay, so in so dalam term state sekarang lah, prophase two, metaphase two, anaphase two, telophase two. Okay, so what happened during prophase two? It is not as complicated as prophase one. So dia tak ada crossing over, dia tak ada exchange of DNA, dia tak ada yang forming by by or tetra tu tak ada. Okay, so the nucleolus and nuclear envelopes disappear again. Okay, this is a uh, during prophase. And chromatids are shortened and thickened. Uh, jadi tebal and appear balik under light microscope. Centrioles, if present, move to the opposite poles again and of the cells. And at the end of prophase 2, new spindle fibers will appear. So, any just uh, standard like a um, prophase during mitosis. So, during metaphase 2, okay, chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. But this one, eh, kita tengok, kita akan menggunakan terms dia uh, dekat sini. Uh, in this slide, digunakan general saja chromosomes. But kita boleh cakap lah, uh, sister chromatids align at the metaphase plate. Uh, sister chromatids. During anaphase 2, the centromeres divide. Okay, mana centromeres berlaku uh, divide. Mana perpisahan centromeres. Just like mitosis. Uh, during metaphase, uh, so during anaphase 1 tadi, Centromere ni tadi tidak divide, dia still attached. Centromere tu adalah ni, uh, point ataupun titik yang mencantumkan antara kromatik sini dan sistem kromatik di sebelah sini. So, terms yang digunakan sekarang ni adalah sister kromatik, sister kromatik separates and move to the opposite poles. Ha, ni, sister kromatik separate. This one is kromatik, this one is also kromatik. This one and this one, they are sister to each other. So, itu dipanggil sister chromatid. And during telophase 2, chromosomes arrived at the opposite poles and the chromosomes uh, uncoiled, okay, and lengthen, decondense, uh, move to chromatin. The spindle fibers start to disappear balik, nucleus and nuclear envelope, iaitu um, 
envelope ataupun membrane akan buat nucleus lah uh, start to reform and cytokinesis occur again cytokinesis ni adalah cleavage furo so four haploid daughter cells are formed and they are genetically different from the parent cell kenapa they are genetically different from the parent cell remember there is a process of crossing over uh, during process 1 dalam crossing over ni ada berlaku pertukaran genetik maknanya ada crossing over uh, so dia punya component of DNA tu tidak sama maknanya ada yang uh, biru jalur belang merah ada yang merah belang biru so kan tak exactly sama macam parent dia Okay, so in conclusion, okay, meiosis occurs in only reproductive organ. Okay, so in male ada reproductive organ ni, and female also ada reproductive organs dia. Meiosis produce four produces four haploid daughter cells. The haploid then four number of the cell. Meiosis two is similar to mitosis. Term yang kita gunakan pun similar juga. And significance of meiosis only for sexual reproduction and forming four haploid daughter cells daughter cells genetically different from the parent cell beza so perbezaan antara mitosis and meiosis okey ini occurs in somatic cell somatic cell ni maksudnya semua sel ada dekat dalam badan kita kecuali gonad cell apa itu gonad cell yang ada dekat dalam ovary ataupun dekat dalam uh, testis in males okey and chromosomes number uh, of daughter cells remain the same number 2n juga cuma bentuk yang berbeza ha, yang asal tu sister kromatik macam rama-rama tu and dia punya anak dia hanya satu kromatik number still the same remain number is still the same chromosome number is become half jadi ni separuh haploid no synapses of um, homologous chromosomes occur to form bivalent tak ada yang ni dalam meiosis ada synapses of homologous berlaku semasa prophase 1 to form the bivalent ataupun tetrad no chiasma or crossing over ni berlaku chiasma ataupun crossing over occurs uh, sister chromatids separate at anaphase at anaphase kalau ini sister chromatids separate at anaphase 2 during mitosis daughter cells are um, daughter cells are genetically identical <coughs> yang ni daughter cells dia are not the genetically identical for mitosis it produce two hap two diploid daughter cells whereas in meiosis produce four haploid daughter cells and cytokinesis occurs only once meiosis occurs twice i.e. after um, telophase 1 and after telophase so this diagram shows the difference between mitosis and meiosis okay. and also this is a summary showing you of great detail of the summary between the mitosis and meiosis okay i think that will be all for this video and for this chapter so we have done for this chapter 3 and uh, looking forward for the next chapter chapter 4 okay so again please like this video share with your friends and subscribe this channel so this channel this video may not be perfect, but surely it will help you. Alright, that's all for you for this session. Thank you. See you guys again.